Hello, 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 everybody. My name is Indented, and welcome back to Horror Tales, colon, The Wine. Uh, if you remember at the end of the last episode, we used the trolley cart thing on the tracks to jump up onto that platform. We ran down the hallway, and Gun Guy shot me and kicked me in the face. And according to this note, he likes to kill people. But he didn't kill me yet. So... He's got the last bottle of wine that we need before we can leave. So we gotta go confront Gun Guy and hopefully not die. God. So pretty. Alright. Ah. Uh... I'm just gonna do that now. Probably gotta do something with that. Uh oh. That looks bad. I really don't know what it's gonna have me do. <laughs> do I even need to be doing that? I don't know. We're gonna go down this ominous hallway tunnel. And see what's up. Memo from the funeral company regarding the work being done at the winery. We are sad to inform you with the utmost respect that we must immediately stop all recovery of bodies of the band winery workers. Some of our employees are beginning to present the same symptoms as the winery workers. In our absence, we recommend that all dead bodies are burned. We understand that our decision to stop funeral services in the winery will bring consequences. Even so, as a gesture of respect to the governor and, above all, the bands, we will not let anyone know what's occurring in the winery. You guys are loud. Okay, so, first... Oh, Jesus Christ. So, first, they... Stopped allowing people to use wood to build caskets for the people that died from the fevers. And now they're just straight up not doing funerals at all. I don't trust Dark. I feel like Gun Guy's gonna be somewhere. Itch my eye before I go in here and get murdered. Oh. I see what they've been doing with the bodies. That is rather unpleasant. Uh... What do you want me to do? Oh. Oh. High guy with gun. Are you... Are you mad? Are you mad? Are you gonna... Are we gonna have a chat? Don't shoot the bottle of wine, please. I need that. You know? You're creepy and gross. Okay. Can't go that way. Oh. Okay. I guess I'll drop into the floor. He's still just facing forward. What a weird guy. What a weird, murderous guy. So, am I finding levers? Is Head Boy gonna make an appearance? Because I really do not. Jeez Louise, Pepper Cheese, bro. Oh. 
I gotta use, I gotta use that. Yo! I gotta use the, I gotta use the lever, I think. How am I supposed to use the lever if you're shooting at me? Oh, God, dude. Please don't. Please don't, head boy. Please don't. Please don't. I really don't want to deal with head boy. I really don't want to deal with head boy. Head boy sucks. He's the worst. Oh, come on. Huh. Ah. Dude, he is a whiz. He's a freaking sniper whiz, bro. Ah, he's there too. Wait, that's where I came out of, right? Yeah, because he was still looking the other way. So, am I supposed to do these levers? How in the hell would one do the lever? Ah! I knew I couldn't do it. I knew I couldn't do it. How, how? I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cheese it, I, I feel. Cause you can raise it a little bit and then hide and it'll slowly lower. Ah! Immediately got stuck on the wall. Ah. Oh, there's fire here. There's fire here. No. Is there stuff to hide behind over there? No, there isn't. No, there isn't. Oh my god. Oh my god. Go. What an insane shot. Okay, so how do I get down there then? How do I get down there to do what I need to do? I did it. Did I did I break it or are the bars like not there? Ah, oh, it's head boy! Oh, f it's head boy! Oh, ah, oh, it's head boy again! Oh no, I'm out of stamina. Go, please go. Ow, 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 I'm stuck. Where the fuck am I? Okay. Oh, okay, good. What's up, you dumb bitch? Alright, alright, we gotta we gotta play this smart. Play this smart. Don't go too fast. Don't go too fast. And the head boy. You're not there! You weren't there! How do you How do you hit? How do you hit when you're not there? Am I supposed to Please let me in, please let me in, please let me in. Oh god, oh. Ah! Ah! Oh, 
shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! That boy's still coming! Oh shit! Breaking ankles! Head boy, no! Head boy, no! No! Head boy, no! Ah, head boy! Oh god, there's a puzzle! There's a puzzle in here! Balls gets fish hooked! Balls? Where are balls? Where are balls? Balls? Balls is fish hook. Oh no. Balls is fish hook. Curse of his teeth. I don't. Triangle is fish hook. <laughs> what are you saying? Is there another thing? That one has no lever. Wasn't it on T? Wrong code. Ah! Bruh. You are shooting me, dude! even need a code. What is this? Oh, 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 oh. Hey, you dumb bitch. Oh, oh no. Balls gets fish hook. Triangle gets fish hook. Balls gets fish hook. Boob gets butthole. <laughs> Dude, where, where? Oh, there's a hole. There's a hole. There's a whole ass area. Go. Okay, all right, all right. Ring around the rosy buster. <laughs> idiot, you're an idiot.
Drop it! Get the broken lever on there! Get it on there! Ah! Okay, okay, all right, I feel you. Okay, all right, all right. Who gets butthole? Butthole. That's right, and triangle gets fish hook. Where is Omega? Do we know? Omega gets T. You got it. Come on, come on. Loser! You're a loser, you're an idiot. Wrong code! Suck me, dude! Okay, there's nothing in here. What is that? Oh, oh. oh that's... That's the way out. Okay, so... Ah! Omega is T. Boob is butthole. Triangle is fish hook. Triangle is fish hook. That is T. Right? Falls is fish hook. Is there one I'm missing? Is there one I'm missing? Okay, boob is butthole. Boob is butthole. Triangle is fish hook. Let's just make sure they're right. Boob is butthole. Triangle is fish hook. Yes. Okay. Oh, where's cursive boy? Where is cursive boy? Cursive boy, you gotta be down here. Right. What does Cursive Boy get? Cursive Boy gets T. Oh my god, baby. Oh my god. Let me out of this fucking hell hole. What do you mean? What are you saying to me? I hate this room. Okay, C gets candelabra. Ah! Ah! Oh, sick! Ah! Oh my god, I hate this so much. Oh. Oh my god. It's raining wine! Whoa! Oh, that's so cool! Oh, dude, look at it. Look at it, dude. It's so purple red, dude. <coughs> All right, you little hoe down here, dude. You're being a real wiener. I don't have a flashlight anymore. That's a bummer. That is an absolute bum saw, dude.
Hey, I did the head boy stuff. He's gone. Why is he gone? I don't like it. You're gonna cage me in there, aren't you? Oh! Whoa! He shot the bottle of wine. And me. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. I'm just trying to help my family. Which I can't now. Because of you. Oh no. Several years later. What? What? Go back home. Oh no, I would like to go back home, but also I want to see... I want to see what's up here. Oh, that's, oh my God, that's terrifying. I'm as high as the clouds, Mom. Look at me. I'm as high as the clouds. Oh, the economic recovery is slowing down. Eight years have passed since the infamous Devil's Fevers, but the aftermath remains. After the purge and demoli after the purge and and demolition of the banned winery and all its bottles, the capital has had to transform its economy into one that isn't dependent on wine exports. An enormous effort was made by everyone, and the economy gained momentum again. But the torrential rain of the last few weeks has caused tourism to plummet. The governor assures that there is no reason for alarm that when the rains pass, the economy will bounce back, reminding that this is not the first time this has happened, and asks all citizens to be patient. Exclusive interview with Albert Roig. Okay, so... What? Okay, hold, hold on, before I get into that. New pools of wine discovered eight years later. A group of youths has discovered undrained standing pools of wine in some of the capital's rarely used underground tunnels eight years after the devil's fevers ended. During the first stages of the pandemic, when no one yet knew that the band's wine was causing the fevers, what? Many winery workers rebelled because they were forced to keep working to protect the island's economy. In protest, they smashed all the bottles of wine they could find to stop from being exported. These uprisings only worsened the pandemic. If other similar pools of wine are found, all citizens are urged to report them to the authorities as soon as possible. Do not come close to them. Coming close to the wine without a face covering can cause serious delirium typical of devil's fevers. Among the most common symptoms are hallucinations, spatial disorientation, spatial reasoning, obsessive thirst for more wine, mania and feelings of being chased, and in the worst cases, high fever and cardiac arrest. Hallucinations begin minutes after contact with these wine pools. Okay. Oh, am I gonna go? Enough. We've demonized the bands long enough. 
It wasn't their fault that the fevers were caused by their wine. It was a disaster, but unintentional. We still don't know what happened to the aged wine stored in their cellars. Obviously, when the first bottles of that cursed harvest were opened, it was too late. The bands were victims just as much as the rest of us. They deserved, they deserve a tribute as well. What was done, what was done to that family when it was discovered that the wine was causing the fevers and hallucinations was mass murder. Even if in the past they exploited their workers and got rich at their expense, they deserve justice too. Above all, the boys and girls of the bands that were hunted down and killed. We must ask them for forgiveness. It is offensive that on this monument to the victims, the bands aren't mentioned. Justice for all. <sighs> to the victims, pain, weeping, anguish, but also hope. Tribute to the 5,473,723 dead during the devil's fevers. Their survivors will always remember you. Holy crap, dude. To the heroes, to the apothecaries and healers for your efforts in the fight against the devil's fevers, to Albert Roig, who risked his life traveling to the desolated capital, all on his own to save the most delirious infected persons, he found 47 and was able to save eight. To the wise men whose discoveries were crucial to ending the devil's fevers. Albert Roig's hat. All right. Okay. I see what you're doing. Mm hmm I see what you're doing. I see what you've done to me. You can't go back home yet. Leave the letter at the grave first. Oh, I didn't know that's what I was doing. At, at this grave? At, at, at what grave? Oh! Okay. You got some missing pieces going on there. In memoriam of... In memoriam, Marty Vermello, Father and last victim of the devil's fevers. Hello, Dad. It's already been eight years since you passed away. I'm still not past it. Visiting your grave is a tradition now. This year I met Albert Roig. He told me about how he found you dead, with your head full of glass from the bottle you smashed yourself with. It's rough, but in a way, knowing, you di knowing how you died brings me peace. I just hope I stop having the nightmares. Albert has become a celebrity. They almost worship him. I feel proud and overwhelmed just to know him. In fact, he left his hat beside the monument to the victims months ago, and nobody has taken it. Sometimes I think about the irony of it all. To be unaffected by the fevers, all we had to do was cover our face like Albert did. Would you be alive today if we had known that one stupid thing before? Anyway, I like having him around. No, Dad. Don't worry. You'd like him. When you look past the hero image they paint him with, he's very approachable and considerate. Even so, want to know a little secret? Every day he's always whistling, and that gets a bit annoying. There had to be one bad thing about him, but don't tell him. It's our secret. Your daughter who still misses you another year. We'll get there. We'll get there. Uh-huh. We'll get there. And we're fading out. Okay. Well. Let's, let's, let's get into it, shall we? First off, the bands. The Benedoisk family. Terrible people. Not because they made the wine that caused the devil's fevers. They're terrible people because they exploited poor people 
and worked them to the bone for no wages pretty much and got rich off of the slum communities suffering essentially right so shit people shit people however because they concocted the wine how 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 do you know how do you know that something you know if if i made a soup and and it caused you know this uh, soup soup was probably a bad probably a bad analogy if i made a cereal and it and it caused something like this how was i supposed to know that my cereal would kill millions of people so i don't blame them for the wine that caused the whole thing i don't but they're still shit people okay now let's go a bit further the grave that I placed the letter on, that was me. In the letter, my daughter said, Albert Roig, who had his face covered, aka guy with gun, found me dead, and I apparently did it myself by smashing a full wine bottle <clears throat> on my face. Now, Albert is a liar. Granted, why would you tell a small child that you killed her dad that's that's not a good look but he's a liar right so he was the one that came to the island to try and save people affected by the fevers aka me but i was too far gone i never actually questioned head boy and why he had no head i just you know sometimes you just go with the flow in a game because it's scary and whatever. But I was hallucinating. So there's that. Uh, guy with gun, actually good guy, but also kind of a piece of shit. I, I really like the way they just flipped the entire story on its head in those last couple notes there. Everything clicked for me when I was reading those. That was very good. This was a great game. I liked it a lot. Spooky in spots. Nerve-wracking in spots. Looked great. Sound design was awesome. Clever enemies. Good puzzles. Hectic puzzles. It, it, the, this was great. This was great. Good story. Very good story. I got really into the story i like this game thoroughly and i hope you did as well i guess this wraps up the series of horror tales colon the wine if you want to play this game for yourself the link will be in the description below i highly recommend it i unlocked photo mode after beating the game so now there's replayability i can go back through and take pictures of those camera icons and see what's going on in there go play it for sure but if you enjoyed this video and or this series please hit the video with a like don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment letting me know your thoughts about the whole thing did you like it did you not do you like the story were you confused am i an idiot for not questioning head boy let me know that's going to do it for this series Thank you so much for hanging out. I truly appreciate it. I hope you have a good one. Stay safe out there, and I will see you around.